And our last speaker this morning, this afternoon, is Bernard Hankins, Jr., who today receives his Bachelor of Science in Architecture degree. First and foremost, I just first like to say thanks to my Lord Jesus Christ for helping me through four years. And uh, second, I'd like to thank my parents for all their love and support, and most importantly, for their money. <laughs> so this is the long anticipated moment, so here it is. Class of 2004, I hope that you enjoyed your time in Charlottesville. We started now, we're departing from the top of Cars Hill. Right down the street from where you eat at Star Hill Bar and Grill. And you know I never kicked a rhyme that's been far from ill. So I'm here to speak in a rhyme last time before we graduate. But even as mom, dads, and grads celebrate and congratulate, this rhyme is meant to comment on what I see as the saddest state. Some of us have no love for what we do like a man who's never had a date. But even... <laughs> But even if the task is great, every aspect of, aspect of what we do should elate and fascinate. But the problem is people are not passionate. We should be pulled like we're magnet weights and gravitate like 9.8 meters per second squared. But some of us are defeated and we just don't care. So to the people who need it, I'm going to be a breath of fresh air. Because your enthusiasm is curbing. You're losing your passion. It's a burden to be working. You used to be concerned if your work looked good. Now you don't care if it does. So when it comes to work, I'm like black eyed peas asking, where is the love? And when, and when I ask you, you just get embarrassed and shrug. But I, there's the rub. Every time you feel your heart squeeze, passion should pump through your arteries, marrow and blood. You're supposed to love architecture, but your eyes are halfway closed before they start the lecture. <laughs> got a sharp professor making smart conjectures. You're really not going to care if it's not your heart's pleasure. You got to have the same type of passion like you're looking for X marks the treasure. Mark my words, mark my phrase. Without passion, architecture is just archaic, all kinds of arches and architraves. You got to have the same type of fire like an arson who plays with sparks that blaze. So I've come to fan the flame and fuel the fire so that dread and drudgery will never overrule desire. And guess what? There'll be days when you'll be tired, but with passion at midnight, you want to burn oil and it won't be turmoil as soon as you learn toil is useless saying I just gotta produce this like bad produce is that's just fruitless remember the words of Confucius so now I use my talent to come up here and challenge you to pick a to pick a job you love and you'll never take a vacation out in Malibu or Aspen so the question that I'm asking is what's happened to your passion why is it not lasting why is it just a, like a fad trend that ends? It's yesterday's news, it's just a has-been. We're just all trapped in a system where only the checks get cashed in. And I'm not at all anti-capitalist. The sole reason that I'm rapping this is because I want you to ignite your catalyst. So I'm breaking it down like enzymes, using quotes with end rhymes to cleanse your mind of drudgery and dingy grime. That's the sole reason these lyrics were wrote. And as I peer into the future years of the periscope, I see that there is hope. Work doesn't have to be an uphill battle like a terrorist slope. You can die without any merit and croak, be extremely poor and perish broke, take pay at a loss, still not want to take a day off like Ferris, nope, with passion, with passion, I dare you to elope, cause you're gonna enter the workforce and they're gonna force you to work, and if you had your first choice, you'd probably get a divorce from your work, so now, so now I'm here to provide marriage counsel, before you kiss the bride and I pronounce you, my, voice, my advice is to pour out passion in every ounce of you, because I'm down to my last lifetime. But maybe the rest of you were only down to two. Maybe you found a few extra lives just lying around. And so you picked them up and you just started to start trying them out. And you had eight or more nine times before you actually lie on the ground. Or maybe you're like a dad of a cat and you've got nine lives. So you don't mind working mindlessly from nine to five. But you got to start thinking with your heart. Because like Lincoln Park, I designed this rhyme. And I put rhyme in my designs. Because when I work, I don't want it to be just about nine to five. That said in mind, I don't want deadlines. I want to work towards lines that are alive. So that purpose and passion push or the drive that's behind my hard work. Matter of fact, it shouldn't be hard work. It should be heart work. But some of us need an implant. Man, ask Rembrandt, did he make works of art or was it just art work? So when you job search, listen to John Ruskin, put your feet second and start first with enjoyment employment. You gotta have a fire, a flame, a fuel. Without that, it's just aimless gruel. Frustration like trying to tame a mule. And if you can't get the school to change, then the thoughts, you got to change your school. And already, if there aren't any bought, I'll pay a penny for your thoughts. Plus, I put in my own two 
two cents. It'll be nothing but prudence that won't be too dense. Just a nuisance, because to a lot of us, work is just a nuisance. I'll give you a dime if you ask and don't want my two cents. But this is overdue rent. People just work for time and a half, a few pence. But you can't just mindlessly draft. You gotta finally craft those blueprints. I'm talking to you in this tent. Be in pursuit of pleasure, purpose to be passionate. You gotta get after it, the pursuit of happiness. I didn't say, hey man, Thomas Jefferson drafted this. And while you draft and sit, you gotta have a fire like the movie Back Draft was lit. So I come to make sure that a match is lit. And I'm gonna pour some more gas in it so that your heart burns like you forgot to take Tagamin. HB. <laughs> so take it from me, HB, or should I say BH. When you go to the work with your briefcase You want to be early and you won't want to be late You work hard for a free weight with no rebates Even if your boss is a straight up cheapskate <laughs> I'm not here to give you a few tips or quote cute quips But I'm only here to speak the truth from my lips To teach you to have passion like the movie flick About the one who went to the crucifix Betrayed by Judas Kiss The reason you eat the Eucharist and drink the juice you sip Because love for what you do can play elusive tricks like a fugitive So for real your zeal's got to be effusive kid So I use the words of a Buddhist confusion and the life of a man who's Jewish, the same one from the Bible, so that your heart beats with passion like a drum recital. Passion like a man has for his bride, yet it's got to be unbridled. So now, I'm Ron Buston, the words of John Ruskin, about how love and work should be kin like a mom and a husband. When love and skill work together, expect a masterpiece. So now I leave you with these words that are neither last or least. Don't work because you have to, just do it because. Love what you do, and do what you love.